What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play Xbox 360, uh, your ISO files that you've downloaded uh, from the internet and have accumulated from your Xbox 360 uh, disc backups and through various other sources, uh, which I will not go into detail on. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you how you can play those ISOs and your disc image files on your Xbox 360 JTAG or reset glitch hack. Now you can burn these files to a disk uh, and I will have a video on that in the future and you can play these on a normal retail Xbox 360 though the point of this video is to show you how you can play these ISO files on a JTAG because you can't just take this ISO file put it on your JTAG and play it you have to run it through an application on your computer extract it properly and then we transfer it over. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your ISO of the game uh, that you are wanting to play or that you have. In this case I have Test Drive Unlimited 1. It really does not matter what game it is. If it's a multi-disc game, does not matter. If it's a multi-disc game, we'll just extract it all into the same folder here. Though I have a one-disc game, that's what most games are uh, for demonstration purposes here. So we have our ISO file. And sometimes when you get your games, you'll get a .dvd file. This .dvd file we don't need, so I'm just going to drag it over there. We don't need it at all. The next step, you're going to want to download this application. There is a link to it in the description below. We'll go ahead and open up the RAR file. And we'll go ahead and extract this application. We can close this out. Now we have our application here. The application is WX360. Once again, there will be a link in the description below to download. I'm using version 1.6. Any version should really work uh, depending on your ISO, once again. Now, I'm going to show you why you need this application and why you can't just take this ISO and put it on your JTAG. So if we load up the ISO here, you notice that we have audio video. There's no XEX files, there's no uh, game directories, nothing. We have to extract those files from the ISO. So we load up our application here. Once we have our application opened, we're going to press open here, and we are going to go find our ISO file here. In this case, test drive unlimited one ISO. We're going to click open, and now you see on this ISO it has the XEX files here, the system update files, our game files in here. So once you have this open, we're going to create a new folder on our desktop. This new folder, we're just going to name it whatever we want. In this case we'll name it ISO. And we are going to go to File. And we're going to press Extract All Files. We're going to browse to that folder we just created right here, and we're going to click OK. It's going to go through here, you'll see the progress at the bottom here, and it's going to extract the Xbox 360 game from your ISO file. I've already done this, and we have our game right here. And as you can see, these files that have been extracted we have right here. So this is essentially what you would get from ripping your disk on your JTAG or Reset Glitch hack. So now that we have our ISO extracted, we can take this folder and we can transfer it to our JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360. And I'm going to show you guys how you can configure your game and play it on your JTAG and Reset Glitch Hack now that we have our ISO extracted. Alright guys, now that we are on our JTAG to Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360 here, and we have our files transferred over from extracting those from the ISO, we're just going to go up to our file manager here and we're going to make sure we put those files in our games folder. I've already done so here, but once again we're just going to transfer that folder that we, that we got our extracted files from and we're going to put it in our games folder here. Once it's in the games folder, we can just go ahead and back out here. We can go up to settings and in settings we'll go to content settings and we will go to uh, manage game paths. We'll go ahead and add a game path, and we're just going to point that to the folder that we just put in our games. 
and we're just going to add that there. We're going to save it and we're going to back out here. So now that we added the game path, we should be good to go here. And as you can see right here, we got test drive unlimited. Uh, now that we've extracted the ISO, our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox can play this now. We can go ahead and launch the game uh, right here. And as you can see, it'll play just like any other game on our hard drive. Uh, Test Drive Unlimited right here. That's how you download games uh, as an ISO or you use your game backups on ISO. That's how you extract them and you can play them on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. I'll be making another tutorial soon showing you guys how you can do this with a retail console. Uh, yes, you can do it with a retail console, though you do need a flashed drive on your retail console. But it is possible. So I'll have a tutorial on that soon. Hope this helped you out, guys. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope this taught you how you can play your ISOs on your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.